So when looking at batter heat maps, a lot of the hot and cold zones can be explained by the way the bat path moves compared to the plane that the pitch is traveling on. Bat path is made up of three things. So you've got swing path tilt, which measures the steepness or the flatness of the bat path. You've got attack angle, which is measuring the vertical direction the barrel is moving at contact. And then you've got attack direction, which measures the horizontal angle the barrel is moving at contact. When we're talking about pitch planes, hitters care about two things, vertical approach angle and horizontal approach angle. Vertical approach angle measures how much the pitch drops or doesn't drop as it crosses home plate. Horizontal approach angle measures how much the pitch moves horizontally as it crosses home plate. Strong. The location of the pitch is important, but the direction that the pitch is moving as it crosses that location is also super important. That's a drive to right. Better heat maps aren't random. They're just a visual representation of how well a swing path matches the plane and break of each pitch. By understanding the relationship between swing path and pitch planes, players and coaches can start to game plan and tailor training environments more effectively.